there is no time to recover from Chris Rock because we have, joining us now, he is a producer, writer, actor. You know him from movies like Super Bad, Knocked Up, Neighbors. Now he's written a book called Yearbook. Ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rogen here on Good Morning America. Good to see you. Hello. Hey. We Good were... to see you. Thank we... you for uh, getting the memo that I wanted to follow Chris Rock. <laughs> I, uh, I only like to go on after literally the most beloved, uh, best comedians of all time. You could get Jerry Seinfeld next time. If you could somehow bring Richard Pryor's corpse back to go up in front of me, that would be great. Uh, just whatever you could do to really make it impossible for me to follow whoever it is in front of me would be, uh, that would be ideal. Thank you. So much. <laughs> Do we know it? Do we? Hey, but you yeah. know, hey, Seth, we were just talking about you yesterday in Pop News mm -hmm. because of that series oh. that you're starring in. You know, uh, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, and this um, this photo of um, the the '90s kind of uh, fashion. Uh, how yeah. do you feel about that, Seth? The 90s were the stupidest time in American uh, history from a fashion standpoint, <laughs> and I say that having worn nothing but 90s clothes for the last three weeks. You, if you think you looked good in the 90s, you're an idiot. You look, you were wrong. <laughs> you, it, it's a stupid time. We all look dumb, um, and uh, I have to dress like this all day, every day now. <laughs> um, and uh, thank God that's not my actual hair. It's a mullet. It's a fake mullet. But yeah, this is how people looked in the 90s. This is how. A good-looking person looked in the '90s, which is crazy. I really, I, I, and I mostly modeled my look off of Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> well, you know, you you wrote you write in a book that in the '90s you had a go-to um, like clothing item. It was the vest. So why the I vest? I wore a lot of vests because I was obsessed with the movie Tombstone, um, and uh, in it, Val Kilmer uh, plays Doc Holliday. And I thought he was the coolest guy ever. And uh, I was from a Jewish elementary school where we wore uniforms. And I didn't know how to dress myself, literally. And the only fashion inspiration I had was Val Kilmer in Tombstone. And he wore cowboy vests. And so I went and bought a lot of vests. I also wore a pocket watch, um, which I convinced myself was cool. Which, again, just shows how much one can delude themselves uh, looking back. We just saw a picture from about when you started stand-up, the age of 13. And I was reading about how you, you wrote your grandparents into the act, and they loved it. How does the rest of the family feel about when they get into the act? Um, my family, honestly, is really mad when I don't include them in my work. And, uh, to, and, and honestly, right now, my sister is pissed at me that she's not in my book more, and I'm navigating that <laughs> in, in literal real time. So yeah, I'm at a place where they want me to write about them. And if they don't, uh, my parents literally phoned me and was like, you should have put your sister in the book more. And I'm like, this, this is what I'm dealing with now. And my mom is yelling at me because my sister's not in my book enough. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> and you know, there's also a blurb on the uh, book jacket. And speaking of your mom, she said the book is sweet and funny, but she also says, quote, I really wish there wasn't so much drug talk. So how upset was she about the drug stories? Um, she wasn't upset, uh, per se. I think she wanted me, I mean, she, I mean, uh, you know, I, I write about uh, doing drugs a lot in the book, um, as I'm sure a lot of GMA listeners would love to hear it, uh, at seven in the morning. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, but truthfully, my mother gave me a good note, which is you should write about why you, uh, do drugs so much. And so I did. And so there's a good blurb in the uh, book dedicated to why, and um, I recommend people read it. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet, because she said- And just know that as you're reading it, my mother made me write that. Uh, but she also <laughs> said, I'm glad he wrote it, but I'd be even more glad if he called me more. That is yeah, so that true. Is true. Uh, that, so you're just like us. You know, Mama always wants to hear from you. But the, hey, so, there are so many great stories in here, and I was really caught off guard by the one. You had a run-in with Beyonce's um, security, at the Grammys, and that led yes. to a, a little bit of an awkward moment, right? It did. I, I was at the Grammys to introduce um, Eminem and Rihanna. They had a song together. Um, and 
Uh, I was backstage. Well, yeah, and there's a story as to why I'm standing in that awkward position that I never, ever stand in. And that is uh, I was backstage and I got a drink. I was drinking a screwdriver, which is a bad drink. Um, and <laughs> and I saw Beyonce and I'd never met her before or seen her in real life even. And I'm a huge fan of hers. And um, she was actually talking to Gwyneth Paltrow. So it was kind of a, a double whammy of famous people. <laughs> and I went over. Um, with far too, com too much confidence uh, and to go say hi. And as I was walking over, uh, her security guard's arm, like, literally swung out like a bat and hit me <laughs> so hard that I fell back and I spilled my screwdriver all over myself. And at that moment, a PA came up to me and said, uh, we need you on stage. Uh, you have to introduce Eminem and Rihanna right now. And so... Uh, I went out on stage with screwdriver spilled all over me from Beyonce's bodyguard, and that is why I'm standing with my arms in this like weird <laughs> position because my stomach is covered in uh, a horrible uh, vodka and orange juice stain. <laughs> I'll look. never see Michael without thinking of the time I did Howard Stern while watching him change in his dressing room. Oh, That's that just is always... right. <laughs> I no, I, now I'll never see you the same either. <laughs> hey, Seth. We always love you joining us, man. We appreciate it. And uh, thank you for joining us, talking about the book and all these stories. And you guys at home, Seth's book yearbook is out today and available wherever books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.